In this video, we provide the solution to question number 14 from the practice final exam for Math 1050. We're given a quadratic function, f of x equals negative 2x squared minus 8x minus 2, when we have to find the vertex of this quadratic function. There's essentially two strategies that one could take here. I'm going to implement both of them here. Uh, so one option is you can just complete the square. So take out the negative 2 from the x's, so at least behind x squared, and then you have a plus 4x leave a spot for your guest of honor, then you have a minus two right there. Uh, then to identify the guest of honor, we're gonna take this middle coefficient here, four. We take half of that, which is two. We then square that, which is four. So we add in a four. Then we have to subtract four times negative two, where this negative two is the coefficient in play right there. Uh, so then the, 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 the things inside of the parentheses, the x squared plus four x plus four should be a perfect square trinomial It'll factor as x plus 2 quantity squared. And then over here, you have a negative 4 times negative 2. That's a positive 8. Minus 2 is going to be a positive 6. So this is now in the vertex form. From this form, we can very quickly see that the switching the sign here, because we should have an x minus h inside of the square. So that's going to give us a negative 2. That This is the y coordinate of the vertex. So you get negative 2 comma 6. Um, that would then be choice A as the correct answer. So that's what you would get if you solved it by completing the square. But some of us like an alternative approach, the idea that h equals negative two, uh, excuse me, negative b over 2a, use this formula. If you plug in um, the b and the a like so, you would end up with a negative negative eight over two times negative two. So the top is positive eight, in the denominator you get negative four, that simplifies to be negative two, like we observed over here and over here. Um, so finding h is pretty easy this way, but then we have to find k. Um, to find k, we're just gonna evaluate the function at h. Um, so we plug in negative two into the formula right there, um, for which then we can evaluate that as negative two times negative two squared minus eight times negative two minus two, like so. Try to simplify this thing. Um, negative two squared is positive four times a negative two gives you a negative eight. Um, six, sorry, eight times two is 16. It's a double negative, so it's a positive 16, like so. Then you get a negative two. Um, eight, sorry, eight take away from 16 gives you a positive eight, minus two gives you another six. And so that gave us the value we were looking for there. So that works. And then one other strategy I'll mention here that if you don't like these tedious um, function evaluations, you can also use synthetic division, which might be a little bit cleaner because it does the evaluation for you. Negative two, negative eight, negative two here. Um, you plug in the negative 2 that we wanted to do, run through the calculation, bring down the negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Minus 8 is negative 4 times negative 2 is going to be a positive 8. Minus 2 is 6. So again, you found the number 6 again. Um, the synthetic division, I think, is a little bit cleaner than just the function evaluation. You can do that with polynomials in general. Um, but however you want to do this calculation, whether you want to complete the square, uh, which is actually the strategy I do recommend, I think it's going to be the cleanest calculation in the in, for this one. Um, you just complete the square, but you can also use formulas. The H formula, negative B over 2A, we like a lot. We can get H pretty quickly there, but as there are multiple answers that involve the correct H, we do have to figure out K, um, for which then we have to evaluate the function at the H value. Uh, I do recommend synthetic division. The arithmetic will be easier there, but you can just do the traditional plug and chug. That'll work for you as well.